Your life is a testament to the idea that nothing is impossible. That if somebody says no, you say it's just the beginning. Position yourself to succeed. So for example, if you're doing something else and you, and you want to do this thing you love, you do it after hours. You work nine to six, you get home, you kiss the dog, and you go to town, right? I mean, you start building your equity and your brand and whatever you're trying to accomplish. If you don't do it, nothing's possible. If you try to do it, at least you have the hope. Most people don't even try, sadly. Um, uh, most people um, try and then stop or give up. Um, very few people try and try and try or do and do and do and do and never give up. And those are the people that, that ultimately succeed and win third failure in a row did you think I need to pack this in never why not I don't ever give up no idea works unless you have the courage to do the work ideation without execution is delusion because you can have the most brilliant idea in the world but you gotta bet on yourself you can't think that like that one idea and the way that you think it's supposed to happen is the only way that it can happen. I challenge all of us to say, stop finding reasons to find and make excuses that, you know, we affectionately under armor call loser talk. And um, I don't know, you, you've, you've got to just will it and, and focus on, on making it happen. Focus on one thing one area put all of your energy into watering one area if you spread the water across many many seeds you don't have as much water for one seed so focus on one thing what I learned from Steve Jobs is if you believe enough then you will see it because other people will believe in it other people will create products so you need to foster the belief in what you are dreaming so that it becomes a reality. As a human, we are often told to soar like an eagle, to aim high, to do something big. But nobody tells us how. I will tell you how. Is that easy? No, it's not. But it's not impossible. We want to have attitude like an eagle. But why? Because we see and we know eagles as a sign of power, an ability, and a speed. So we need power, ability, speed, and vision, just like an eagle has. Now I will tell you six things that eagles do. And you can do these things and apply in your own life to have an attitude like an eagle. And a soul like an eagle. Write it down. Number one. Eagles fly alone. Those who fly solo have the strongest wings. So don't be afraid to fly alone, to walk alone. The reality is people will not understand your dreams and your vision. Even they will not support you. There will be some naysayers, some negative people. And if you tell them about your dreams, they will try to stop you. They will try to bring you down. They can't see the opportunity that you think you have. So you have to walk alone. You have to fly above the negativity. You have to start your journey alone. And if you learn to fly alone, to walk alone, you will be the strongest and powerful man. Your confidence level will grow. So next time you will not be scared to fly alone. So try to fly alone because eagles don't fly with pigeons. So don't depend on anyone to fly with you, to assist you. You have the power to touch the sky. Everyone has that power, but not everyone dares to touch the sky. You will never recognize what kind of power you have inside of you if you don't fly alone. But when you fly above the everything where nobody dares to go, you will meet some sky toucher full of experience. You can share your dreams with them and they will share their experience with you. So fly high and fly alone. Number two, eagles love the storm. 
while all birds find shelter in the comfort zone during this rain and storms. All of the birds try to avoid rain and storm. But the eagle welcomes the rain and storm. They are excited to go through the challenge. They love to fly high during the storm above the clouds. And in this way, they grow stronger and more powerful. So don't run from the challenge in your life. Instead of running, welcome them and get excited about the challenge and hard times. Rather complaining or trying to avoid the challenge, run toward the challenge. That's how you can grow faster and stronger and powerful. Just remember, the more you face the challenge, the more you get opportunities and the more you evolve dominant. Number three, eagles always have the vision. Having excellent vision and concentration is most important thing to get what you want. Eagles who only focuses on their goals, not on fear. After setting their target to hunt an animal, they make their vision so clear and they only put their focus on that. They will not move their focus until they hunt it. In the same way, focus like a laser. Laser focus will limit your distraction and help you to achieve your goals. Those who concentrate one thing at a time advance in this world. So keep focus no matter what the obstacles are. Number four, eagles don't eat dead or old things. You know the other birds eat what they want, dead and old. Crow eats the garbage, but the eagles feed only fresh prey. As same as if you want to have an attitude like an eagle, don't waste your energy by stuck in the past. Because what's gone is gone and what's done is done. You have to move on by leaving the past. You know the two things that prevent us from happiness and success are number one, living in the past and another is observing others. An eagle never observes others and never live in the past. Number five, the female eagles test the level of commitment when they meet male eagles. And this is the most important thing. Trust is important in relationships, in business, in professional life or in private life. We must test the level of commitment of people we intend for partnerships. Number six, eagles train hard. You know, every eagle, when the time comes for them to learn to fly, the mother eagles remove the comfort layers from the nest so the eaglet gets uncomfortable. And then she starts throwing eaglets out of the nest. She does it daily and repeatedly until the eaglets learn to fly, until the eaglets become fearless, grows stronger, and eventually they fly in the sky. So you must have to train hard and evacuate your comfort zone. There is nothing in the comfort zone. You have to face challenge every single day and you have to go through hard times. And that's the way you evolve hard and stronger. The greatest. Do you believe that? Do you really believe in you? Some people may not have that opportunity to believe in themselves. Because all their lives, many things has kept them down. The greatest. I am the greatest. The greatest of who you really are. Do you really know who you are? Can you identify yourself? Do you see yourself less? Or do you see yourself more? Do you ultimately believe in you? Or do you let others control what you are and what they think of you? This is not the time to look down on yourself. This is the time for you to look up, to see the greatest, to see the greatness within you. Your creation has meaning. 
something great brought you here. There was a purpose and there's a purpose now. And that purpose is great because you exist in it. Greatness is within you. Greatness is a part of you. But to be great, you got to believe in it. Since the day you were born, greatness was already there. When you had those hard times, greatness was already there. When nobody thought that you had what it took, greatness existed. Hold on to that greatness. Believe in that greatness.